All right, I'm gonna let some people jump on. Come here, my people. I drink water. I did not drink. I did drink a lot of water yesterday at the beach, but I didn't want to have to keep going to a quarter potty, so I tried not to drink an excessive amount, except on the way home. You have to be strategic about your water. Like, you shouldn't drink it, um, I want to say, like, 7 at night, because then what happens at 7 at night? You're, like, drinking and peeing all night long. So that's, like, the major downfall of drinking water constantly. But it was a great time. Um being at the ocean in Scarlet. Oh, dear God. Like, she had no clue how much danger she was in because she would let the wave, like, take her out and suck her in, and she was just laughing the whole time. And I was like, you, you don't even know what you're doing. And I'm super proud of Hazel. Um, she wanted to go in, and we got, I had to, like, get her through the wave crashing part to, like, initially get her through, and then she was panicking and, like, really freaking out that she had to, like, be in the water that was moving and she was scared but I put her hands in my face I'm like I'm not gonna let anything happen and then I was like look we we and then I like used me as a boogie board and rode the waves with her um but I'm super impressed she's like it's kind of scary and it's kind of cold and I want to get but she did it that's the point she did it like I still can't get her to eat a blueberry and I still can't get her to eat a strawberry so like she just rode on a wave I'm gonna take it um and I'm sorry about the workouts today. I'm just letting people jump on. So I literally recorded all the workouts, but they're all black squares. And I don't understand because it's like it's a storage issue, and this phone just keeps giving up on me. And then Instagram's like to me too. So I'm going to get that fixed. And there's no workout videos today, and I'm super bummed. And I'm sorry. But so now that we have a couple of people jumping on, hey, Kate. Um, I want to talk about the point of this, and I, you guys know me, I'm like a super, how can I solve this problem kind of person, so I heard, I did a training um, from one of my mentors, uh, Brendan Burchard, and he talked about when you're like in the, in the suck, when you're in the suck, because it happens, you're like in it, <laughs> you can't get out, there's like no light at the end of the tunnel, and when you're in the suck, it's like, Everything else is like triggering that suck to be more suckier. Okay, we'll go with it. Um, like it just seems like crap just keeps like weighing down on you and you're like, I can't do this, I'm so stuck, I can't like you have to first of all, I even catch myself like out or earlier today I was like, I'm so tired. But I said I am so tired. Therefore I'm like breathing life into me being more tired. So I was like, I am full of energy. <laughs> I am full of it. I know I'm lying at the point, but I don't want to keep telling myself I'm tired or I'm sore because then I'm just going to breathe more life into me being tired and sore. But so Brennan talked about um, on those days where you can't get out of your head and you tried everything. You tried to walk, you tried working out, you tried music, you tried a bath, you tried whatever. You tried your, your emergency checklist on how to get out of the suck, right? You've already tried. You're like, I can't get my head out of this mood and I'm so frustrated and shit keeps hitting the fan and I don't know what to do. Like when you're in that suck, write yourself a letter as if you were writing it to your best friend. Like if my best friend was to write me a letter like Kara and talk about how awesome I am and how much I am doing, I would write that to myself. Does that make sense? And there's a couple of you on here. Um, so I did. I wrote myself a letter and I actually posted it last week. And it was, dear friend, that part I put to you, because I'm not going to be like, hey, Cara, hmm, what's up? Um, <laughs> so it was, dear friend, and you could check it out on either pages or Instagram. Um, but the context of that letter is what I needed to hear to myself. So I wrote it to myself. Does that make sense? Um, I just needed to get with my friend passing, and then it was like a couple other things triggered it. I needed to hear something good about myself. I need to hear something from like another person's point of view, even though it's my point of view. Okay. I'm glad that makes sense because I don't know how to explain it otherwise. Um, but it really was eye opening because I was able to get this feeling inside that helped me realize it's, this is, it's a storm. 
You know what I mean? Like you're either going into a storm or you're coming out of a storm. I'm currently like treading water in between. Like it's gonna hit probably tomorrow and it hit last week. But you're always there's always gonna be some kind of crap. You're gonna be in some kind of suck and then more suck is gonna be added onto your suck and then you're like what gives? Like what gives? And you've already tried everything. Like literally working out, taking a walk, listening to music, listening to my personal development, um, taking a long bath. Like I've tried it all and I was like, ah, it's not stopping. This suck is not stopping and I can't get my head around it and I need to be positive because I'm a positive person and I don't want to be suck and crying and bleh, that life happens. So I wrote, dear Kara, this will pass. Like, and then I just like let my hand flow but as if it was my best friend telling it to me. So if you're in that suck right now, if you're in that part where you feel like bricks are just getting thrown on your shoulder and it keeps weighing you down more and more and more and more, if you're at that point, write yourself a letter. Like just take uninterrupted, I know moms, it's like, I can't wait for school to start Tuesday, um, uninterrupted, time and write down a letter to yourself as if it was your best friend telling you how good you really are doing and you just can't see it because we look at our own lives with like a filter with like foggy beer goggle glasses right so we don't see how good we are actually doing and how amazing we actually are because we're in it we're in the suck so if you actually do the letter I don't want you to send me the letter um, cause that's super personal. Like there's a couple things that I took off of my dear friend letter, but I want you to let me know, like message me, um, or post it on any of my pages. Um, but let me know how it made you feel after if you were able to feel relieved or you felt like you could breathe a little bit or if this will pass or whatever feeling you get from it. Let me know because I want to know if this is like a substantial tool that I should be including into my boot camps. Which, by the way, I don't mean to like, whatever. I don't know the word. Looking at the date, it's the 24th. I think by the 10th, we set up the date for the next boot camp. So by the 16th, we'll be starting pre week. So if you want to join next month's boot camp, it's a 60-day boot camp. Um, it will start, I, I would say, get enrolled by the 10th. because So you could get all your stuff by the 16th. And then we could teach you about meal prepping and um, just the best way to go about it through the next 60 days. So if you want in on that, let me know. All right? You guys are awesome. And I hope this works. Like, Please let me know if you try the letter. You guys, bye.